Endangered species. You've probably heard the term before, but what exactly is an endangered species? And why do they need our help? Let's break it down. The word species refers to a group or type of similar living organisms that can repopulate. So for example, humans are a species, but different types of animals, plants, and insects are also species. Lions, owls, lizards, butterflies, ants, and bees, the trees, grasses, and flowers we grow, even the fruits and veggies we eat are all examples of different species. But what does it mean when a species is endangered? Endangered species literally means a species that is in danger of extinction or being completely wiped out from existence. To help keep track of the health of a species and how endangered it is, it's placed in a category based on things like its population, the health of its habitat, and other scientific data. The categories range from of least concern to fully extinct. And while all these categories are important in evaluating life on Earth, the species listed as critically endangered, endangered, or vulnerable are species that are threatened with extinction. So what causes a species to decline and become endangered or extinct? Let's look at an example. More than 65 million years ago, at least 700 known types or species of dinosaurs roamed the Earth until drastic changes in their environment caused them to go extinct. Scientists say that a giant asteroid hit the Earth, killing many dinosaurs on impact and throwing the Earth into a frenzy. Volcanoes were erupting, releasing dust, soot, and carbon into the air. Dark clouds covered the sky, and the climate changed very quickly, making it difficult for plants and animals to survive. This unhealthy environment caused many of the remaining dinosaur species to become endangered, and without clean air and water, and sources of food and shelter, they were ultimately wiped out completely. Only a few species survived and evolved into what we know today as birds. In this example, you can see how one action can cause a chain reaction of events that can very quickly create a dangerously unhealthy environment. Today, we are still experiencing natural changes in the environment and the Earth's atmosphere, but we're also experiencing changes that are caused by human activities. Activities like fishing, growing food, constructing roads and buildings, using electricity, driving, shopping, and many other things we do every day can have major effects on the habitats or places where species live around the world. And when habitats change, the species living there are impacted. Things like deforestation, water, light, and noise pollution, using too many natural resources, and species being captured and brought to places where they don't belong are all putting plants, animals, and humans in danger. Millions of species exist on Earth, but scientific research tells us that as many as 2,000 of those species could be going extinct per year. Let's call in one of our experts, Lee, to see if she can tell us more about a few of our favorite species that need our help. Hi everybody, and thanks so much for your interest in learning about endangered species. Sadly, it's no exaggeration that plants and animals are going extinct around the world every day. Take the tiger, for example. In the last century, the Balinese, Caspian, and Javan tigers have all gone extinct. There are only two subspecies remaining today, the continental and Sunda Island tigers, and sadly, both are endangered. Poaching, illegal trade, habitat loss, and other human conflict issues have caused tiger populations to continue to decline year after year. Sadly, there are only about 3,900 tigers remaining in the wild today. Similar to the tiger, elephants, rhinos, and whales are also made up of different subspecies and populations, which are also being driven closer and closer to extinction due to human activities. The good news is, all over the world, scientists and experts like me work hard every day to protect endangered species, to increase their populations in the wild so we don't lose them for good. 
And the really great news is, it's not just experts like me that can help. You have the power to make an impact too. Yay! Lee's right. You can take action to help stop the decline of the natural systems that support us and all other species on the planet, like tigers, rhinos, elephants, and more. You can help improve air quality and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by turning lights and electronics off when you're not using them, and biking, walking, or taking public transit instead of driving. You can be mindful of not wasting food and water, you can talk or write to your local leaders and government so they make good decisions that help protect nature. You can also talk to your friends and family about how we all need to take good care of the earth. And you can support organizations like WWF that are working to protect the environment and all the life on our planet. If we all do our part to take a stand for nature, we can protect species around the world, including ourselves.